Hello, I'm Corey, and this is my wife, Chelsea. When Pastor Bruce asked us to share something for the Gather Round series, the reoccurring thought that we kept coming back to was the messiness of Christmas. Often in our minds, we need to have everything perfect, from the perfect presents to the perfect decorations, to the perfect meal, and even the perfect Christmas card, letter, or picture. We run from one party or gathering to another in order to keep up appearances, and we run ourselves ragged in the process. During our last Christmas with my grandmother, who passed in June, Quinn was admiring Graham's nativity scene and noticed that baby Jesus was not in the manger. She asked Grandma Jean, why is baby Jesus not in the manger? Is it because it's not Christmas yet and he hasn't been born? Graham replied, great question, and that would have made sense, but unfortunately, I just couldn't find baby Jesus this year. I'm happy to report that Jesus has been found and the complete scene is now proudly displayed in our home. We look at that nativity scene and everything looks peaceful and perfect. We see the idyllic pictures of the serene manger scene with Jesus wrapped in a clean white sheet, sleeping in a manger filled with clean straw, the animals looking over the stalls, Mary sitting calm and all put together after just giving birth in a stable, Joseph calmly looking over her shoulder while the shepherds and wise men worship at his feet. When the reality is, now imagine this, Mary was nine months pregnant with a baby that she conceived out of wedlock. They had to make a grueling 90 mile trip from Nazareth to Bethlehem, traveling approximately 10 miles a day through the Judean desert. They traveled, uh, they traveled during the winter and temperatures ranged from 30 degrees during the day to freezing temperatures at night. It also rained like crazy during that season. They would have had to fend off predators like bears, lions, and wild boars. Then, the closer they got to the forested valley of the Jordan River, they would have had to deal with thieves and bandits who knew that people were traveling through there to go to the census. And their problems didn't end when they got to Bethlehem. Under normal circumstances, they would have stayed with a relative. But because of overcrowding, they were forced to find shelter in a stable. Imagine the chaos and concern that would have been with Mary and Joseph as she goes into labor. They were not in the comfort of their home, or even in a bed. Joseph would have been trying to find supplies, a clean and comfortable place to lay, maybe even trying to find a midwife to help with all that was going on. There would have been confusion, panic, pain, dirt, as well as the, all the mess that goes along with child delivery. And this chaos and confusion was for the birth of the Messiah. So this Christmas season, let's stop in trying to be perfect. Let's allow ourselves to live in the mess of the season, as Mary and Joseph did. Put aside the image of perfection, slow down, and focus on the reason for our celebrating this season, the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let's take the mess of the season and do as Mary did by treasuring up all these things and pondering them in your heart. Your family situation may be tense or unconventional. There may be dynamics with the pandemic that is causing conflict. Or you may have had something happen in the past during this season that makes it difficult to celebrate. But whatever your situation is, we encourage you to slow down and invest in the people around you. If something is preventing your idyllic Hallmark Christmas, let it go and remember the mess of that first Christmas. On behalf of Chelsea and myself, along with our four girls, Ella, Ivy, Quinn, and Emery, we would like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and God's richest blessings in 2022.